using canva.com to create gig images. Now canva.com is a free online tool that allows you to do so many things and one of the things that you can use Canva to do is to create your gig image. Now you can sign up with Canva either through Facebook, through Google or you can choose an email to sign up with. So I'm going to sign up with an email. I'm going to enter my information. Type in your email address and enter a password. Tell them you're not a robot. And we're waiting for it to create our account. All right, so it says that account already exists. So let me try another one. Alright, so after you have created your account, it's going to bring up this information here. So you can just look through and choose the one that best suits you. So let's choose personal. And then we can skip this stage right here. And now you're ready to create your posts. But if you're not ready to choose a particular post as yet, you can just exit this section right here by clicking outside of the area or you can choose one of the areas that are listed here let's choose one of them but if you want to go back to the beginning you can just simply click home to go back to the beginning of your area now you notice that it says it sends you uh, an email to confirm your registration now, if you're going to create a gig image for Fiverr, the dimensions for the minimum size are 550 by 370. So you'd go over here where you see it says custom dimensions and you'd enter 550 and the height would be 370 and leave that option there and create a new design. Now, you want to look through and find images that are directly related to your service. So you could use sites that are offer you royalty free images, which are free to use as you wish and make changes. And one such site is called pixabay.com. And you can find free images here. So you can just search for words related to the service that you want to offer. So if you're setting up a transcription service or a local design or typing services or whatever service, you can search for things related to that service. So suppose I was setting up for a, a data entry service. I could just put in typing or I could put laptop and see what image comes up that I want to use. So let's say I want to use this image here. I would click on the image, then click free download. Now here you want to choose a dimension that's similar to the, or close enough to the one that we use for Fiverr. So 550 by 370 is the one you want to use. So this one here, 640 by 426 is the one that most matches it. So after you download your image here, you'd go back to Canva, and then you'd go to upload, and then you would go to upload an image and search for your image on your computer. So here it is and I double click it and it's uploading. So this bar will full up. Now to get the image on this side, I simply drag, left on my, hold on my left mouse button and drag the image onto the area here. Now when I release the image, I have some resize icons here. When I move my cursor on each little dot, it turns to an arrow and I can drag to the left, to the right, top right, top left. It doesn't matter if the image comes off the page. So you can drag accordingly until you fill the entire area with the image. Suppose I don't want some of the typewriter part to be shown. I can use this four-way arrow when it's like this and hold on my left mouse button and drag up. So it's off the page. 
and then I can use my resize and just drag until the page is filled. So you can design as you choose. And I can drag it back more down. You can decide what you want to do. Now you want to add text to your image. So you go to text. And I suggest you choose between these three right here because they're more simple to use. So you can click the first one and it will appear on the right. And you type in the name of your service. So if this is a data entry service, I'll type in data entry. Now you want to make sure that the size writing is clear and you want to ensure that the name of your service is a larger of the text. So the same thing goes for the size. You can increase the size by using the size of buttons or you can move by using when it's like the four-way arrow you can drag with your left mouse button and move the entire image. Now suppose I wanted this to be here. You notice that it's crowded with the image that's behind it. The black writing is difficult to see. If you have anything looking like this you don't want to use that. You want to make sure that the text is clearly seen based on the image being used. You also want to make sure that you don't go too close to the left, the right, the bottom or the top because it may be cut off when you actually upload your gig image. So if I wanted to put my text right here, what I could do, I could use a background element, a shape, so that it will be a bit like a base for the text. So we go to elements and we click on any shape you want. We could click on this square right here. So the same thing goes, you see the resizers, so I can go up, I can go across. So I'm going to put the shape right here and I'm going to drag it here. Now what you can do, there's something that says position. Now position will position whatever shape or text or image that you have selected. So if I want this text to be on this shape, I'm going to move it up a little bit. When I click on position, remember the, sh the text is selected now. When I click on position and I say forward, you notice that it's in front of the shape now. And I can drag the text up onto the image that I just put there. Remember the four-way arrow? Once the four-way arrow is selected, then you can drag accordingly. Or you can use your arrow keys. Now I want to still be able to see some of the typewriter that was there. So what I will do, I will select the shape. You know that you have selected the shape when you see the sizes appear. Now there's a part that says transparency. So when I click this, I can actually move this either to the left or right and make the shape more transparent or more opaque. I can also change the color by coming to this section here. So right now it's gray, but I could choose white. I could choose black. Well, black wouldn't be good to choose. I can choose different colors, any color that I think will complement and make my text be shown more clearly. I can choose that. So if I chose black, then I would actually change the color of the writing by selecting the writing here. And then this is what allows me to change the text color. So I can change my text color to white. I can also make my shape larger. Suppose I want to make it fit the entire top area here, like a bar. I can do that. In other words, you can do whatever design you want. I can make it more transparent. You can do any design you want as long as it looks presentable and it's showing the name of your service, any special offering and your lowest price. So if I wanted to add another text box, we call it, I click on text and I click and add another one and I can put the price, I can put $5 or I can put starting at $5 and I will drag my price anywhere I wish and make sure that it's clearly seen. I could also put text showing the type of data entry services that I offer so I can erase what's there and I can say type in can I go in the next line and I can say PDF to Word no that's a lot that's kind of large so I can make the font the style the type of writing the writing itself smaller by clicking the size and I choose a smaller size can go a little bit smaller 
So what you want to do is just basically fool around and do a design that looks good based on what you want to set up for your business. Always ensure that the text is large enough that it can be seen. And when you upload your gig image, always check the profile area to ensure that the text is large enough because even in Canva, it may look large, but when you upload it to Fiverr itself, it may be smaller and the buyer does see the text or the image smaller than you are seeing right now. So you want to ensure that you always check. So it's a back and forth thing. You check, you upload, you have to make changes in Canva and then you upload again. Now, when you are finished with your image, you want to save your image. So here, beside upgrade, you'll see it say data entry. Now you want to name the image all the search tags or any word or keyword that you think is associated with the service because you want to make sure that you're entering keywords that relate to the service so that your gig can be found more easily. So we'd leave data entry here and then we can type, type in, doesn't matter if it's capital or common letters, we can have PDF to Word, we can have any keyword relating to the service. We could have virtual assistant, can have web research. So any keyword related to the service, you will enter there. So once you're finished, you just click the enter button and then now you're ready to download your image so that you can upload it back to Fiverr and use as your gig image. So when you're ready to download your image, you can click this arrow here which is download and you'd leave the suggested or you could click publish and you click download and it will bring up back the same option here and you leave the suggested PNG and you click download. So this area here allows you to change the style of writing, how the writing appears. This area here allows you to change the text size. This allows you to change the text color you can bold certain writing that you choose. You can use the italic feature which your writing will appear, slant, you can center, you can use all capital letters or common letters, you can use the bullet feature and there's a spacing option as well. If you want to copy any part of your, suppose I want to have another item that says data entry, I can click copy and it makes a copy of whatever I have selected. For position, we showed you that already. We showed you what the transparency does and you have some other options here. And then of course you can delete an option that you don't want to have. So remember when you're ready to download, click publish, download, and then leave the suggested PNG and click download or click this arrow here, leave the suggested and click download. And then it will tell you that it's preparing your design and you're good to go to upload your image to Fiverr and see if it is as it should be. Remember, if it's not as it should be, you would come back to Canva, make your necessary adjustments, save, download the image again, and then upload back to Fiverr and see if it's suitable.